Yo, so what's going on, Battlefielders? My name is Poe, and I'm coming at you guys with another kind of wish list edition thingamabobber majigger thingy. Um, and I thought of this one. I wanted to put this one up. Um, and I know we've been doing a lot of Battlefield 4 stuff like this, but it's it's that moment. It's that hype. It's something to do, something to think about, to get you thinking, uh, craving, so on and so forth. And with Battlefield 4, there's lots of things we'd like to see fixed, changed, added, altered. And one of these I was kind of disappointed I didn't think of. And this is kind of um, a variation of something that I was thinking of because a subscriber mentioned a few different forms of this. So I sat back last night, late night, laying down, hugging my pillow pet, and I started thinking to myself, um, what if one of the things they did bring in was a new class? Battlefield is one of those games where it has the preset classes, like the Assault, where everybody has the same pieces of equipment in there at their disposal, and the same limited weapons, and they have certain things that are designated for each one of those individual classes, is what makes them what they are. Now, I thought to myself, um, so one of the many things that they can bring in, every game wants to change it up, every game wants to uh, improvise and bring in bigger and better things, it's not a game like uh, Call of Duty where you can just bring in 10 new guns, 20 new guns and make it flashy, it's not one of those things where you can bring in tons of new kill streaks or something, you know, Call of Duty has so many different things that they can fix and do, um, but Battlefield stays the same, I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining, don't, don't let that think I'm comparing it to COD or wish it was like COD, that's not what I'm saying, I'm saying is they have less restrictions so they can bring in a flood of shit. And generally, that's what complicates their game. Um, but what I'm saying, one of the small things they could do every few years or so is maybe bring in a new title. Rather than taking away some of the valuable equipment for some classes like they've done in the past or changing it up, they could stick to what they have, hold the roots strong, and bring in a new class. And um, I guess this whole commentary was brought about because the subscriber said... All these classes have something they do. They have something in common, and they destroy everything. What if we get a class that builds things? And I started to think, I'm like, go on. You know, and all of a sudden I pictured some giant support guy with ammo throwing down stuff and playing with Legos. I, I didn't know what he meant by building things, but I was intrigued. I was like, go on. And at first off, you know, it started strong. I'm like, dude, I can make a whole commentary off what this guy's talking about. He's like... Let's say there was a support class, and let's say we got rid of the C4 for him, we gave that to somebody else, hand-me-downs, whatever. And the support class had the ability to build bunkers, or dig holes, or um, put down um, sandbags, which would act as, uh, I guess, limited cover. Somebody went prone behind them, they'd be safe, but it'd also be easier for people to mount their guns to, which would be, a, I guess, a cool feature to that. Um, but then I started to think, you know, trying to build stuff, how hard it would be with the maps and the terrain and the issues, um, or even on smaller maps. It'd be something that would be limited to class, because if I was able to build a small bunker similar to the ones you'd see on, like, canals or or something like that, not canals, but carg, you know, the little tiny bunkers. If somebody was able to build one of those in, like, 20 seconds, you just get four of those guys to lock down and block off the entire walkways here and there. So, um... If they were limited to the structures or wide open maps only, that would be a kind of a cool feature. But um, they'd obviously be susceptible to susceptible to um, you know explosions and C4 and RPGs and stuff like that. So I started to think, what's another cool possibility? And I thought bringing in a type of um, a type of Spec Ops class. And I, I'm just going to call it Spec Ops for the sake of argument. But there are lots of cool pieces of uh, equipment that are out there in technology or things that have been in previous games that I thought would be cool and a great feature. So I'm like, well, let's just go Spec Ops. You know what I mean? Something where you can get some cool explosions, unique stuff. And I started thinking about a cool couple ideas that I thought would be great for that kind of feature. Something that would be great for that kind of, I guess, enhancement of the game. So this Spec Ops class could be a combined you know, chunk of a few different things. Um, one thing that I've always liked, one thing that I've always valued, is something like a trip line. Um, if you guys have never played, I mean, they've been in old Bond games, stuff like that. Um, basically, they can either be standard, you know, wire trip mines, laser trip mines, anything like that. But if, um, but they're a little harder to spot. Um, I mean, they're actually depending on what it is, it can be easier to spot. But the purpose is to uh, to lock down a a mine on a wall. You've seen similar things, um, spider grenades, stuff like that. So those kind of things are not unheard of. But to be able to barricade something like that, to be able to lock one of those up, would would be a great form of defense for some people. Maybe not so much for attacking. But, you know, uh, a subscriber himself said, H how, can we get some mines that can actually be activated by people? Because I, I honestly do feel that. I mean, you're, think you're talking like Bouncing Betty type stuff. But um, I, I feel that way. I feel like if I'm running through a minefield and I step on a mine designated for a tank and nothing happens to me, I don't know. 
I'm a fluffy guy. I, f- I figured I'd set those things off easier <laughs> than an LAV would, but you know what I'm saying. Tons of fun right here. So I was I was thinking about something like that. I'm like, that's a cool little feature. I mean, something like that would be great. But then I started to think of a piece of equipment that could um, not only possibly disable or destroy if that's what you wanted to do, but change the teams of the enemy equipment. I know that kind of sounds weird, um, but I was thinking more like, uh, let's, let's say so let's say you're running through the map right now, and I just saw like six mines on the ground, but I had a piece of equipment or even just like some cables or something in my hand. My class allows me to go over there and either disable those or take control of them, just you know, do a quick little switch, and they're all of a sudden on my team. I know it sounds weird, but it's like I can claim them. If if you had a proper class and you had a guy that's willing to run out there and, you know, change all the mines on the ground and he's smart and smooth and, you know, capable enough to do so in the right situation, that could be great. They could still think they're theirs and their own equipment would be, you know, taken over by them. That'd be a great stealth class, a spec ops class, if you will. And I started thinking that, you know, that sounds like a cool idea. Um, if somebody has, you know, an MLV, or not MLV, but an MAV or a Soul Flam or something like that, and you were able to get behind it, you can either A, just get in there, buzz, zap it, and disable it, or take it over for your own personal use. Um, so maybe like some sabotage type thing. Well, it's not really sabotage, but you know what I mean. But that's that's one of the cool little ideas I was having. So that's what I wanted to th- that's what I wanted to encourage you guys to think of, and I wanted you guys to drop comments down below to let me know what you think of having a new additional class and what you think would be the right pieces of equipment and the right possibilities and perks of having that new class. Um, I for one thought it'd be a great idea to see something a little bit more stealthy and or maybe something along the lines of what I said, some some class that can actually disable and do something with their arms. You know, I hate having to shoot or blow up or waste my grenade to kill some mines. When all it should really take is, you know, a guy that knows what he's doing. Um, I mean, you know, something like that can take care of enemy equipment. Um, I, I like the idea behind that. I like the trip mines. Um, even maybe giving that class, bringing back the, the mortar from BC2. You know, the ability to call in an airstrike of sorts. Um, I'd say the modern name mortars, they really, really suck. I mean, if they made them any stronger, the game would be OP and people would only, only be using mortars. But it generally takes two two mortars to kill a guy. Um, unless they're previously damaged, so it just kind of is a pain in the ass. I think the mortars are a waste in this game, but if they were honestly willing and capable to to do something like that, calling in a small you know small section airstrike or something like that, um, but also having it on a cooldown where they can only use it like every two minutes or something like that would be a great addition to the team. So if you give him that as a possibility, you give him the piece of equipment that allows him to hack or. Um, disable enemy equipment, something like that. He can stealthily do that. That would be a valuable part of the team. It'd be a great thing. You'd be able to take out claymores or mines or you know uh, tugs or something like that. And I don't know. I, I just I thought that idea was cool. So I want you guys to run with it. I want you guys to tell me what you think of my idea. And you know, just toss in some of your own in there. Drop it into the goodie bag that is the comment section, and uh, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can come up with some more ideas and have some more future commentaries. I mean, this one was spewed out because of another comment uh not another commentator but another subscriber you know he mentioned this cool idea of possibly making a class that can build something and um that that is a possibility i like the idea of having the little sandbags or something like that that wouldn't be too much of a pain and i don't think it'd be too too horrible maybe they and they have a certain durability to them a little bit of shots and maybe they do eventually blow up but that's my thought my process so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoy peace out guys good